Adventures out there, this is the Blue Wasteland Show with your host, Jerry Sanavia. So in the vast wasteland of television came news early this week that Elizabeth Hasselbeck from The View <clears throat> was leaving. And that would have been yesterday, Wednesday, uh, July 10th of 2013, her officially last day on The View. What's curious about this is that the day before was announced that she was going to be leaving and Wednesday would be her last day. Now, as many of you know, I've discussed The View uh, on the Blue Wasteland show various, on various occasions, and in particular about Elizabeth Hasselbeck, who I do, you know, respect and admire. Uh, doesn't matter to me that she's Republican, she can be Democrat, Independent, it doesn't matter. Um, but the thing is that she, you know, regardless of my criticisms of her, and in particular for things that she said, uh, not that they were offensive to me personally or anything, but it's the way that she said things without really doing enough background research on what it was that she was spouting in particular. Um, the thing is, she is a part of The View. She had been for a long, long time, 10 years, in fact, as Barbara Walters reminded us yesterday, 10 years she's been on The View, and now she's gone. So she started in 2003, uh, being the sole Republican voice on The View panel. But she was very much an icon of that show, so it's weird that she's gone now. That's it. Uh, all you have left now are Whoopi Goldberg, Sherry Shepard, and Barbara Walters, because Joy Behar is also leaving at the end of the season, which begs the question to me in this format. Now, as most of you know by now, Elizabeth Hasselbeck is leaving The View to be on Fox and Friends, which of course is on the Fox News channel. But her stint doesn't start till September. So we're now, what, in the middle of July, almost the middle of July, so it still leaves a good, uh, about a month and a half before September, all season starts. And she's replacing a co-host of Fox and Friends named uh, Gretchen Carlson, who was going to leave anyway to be on some other uh, daytime show. So this left a opening, and of course Elizabeth Hasselbeck was in now. We don't know when Elizabeth Hasselbeck was being considered to be on the show, if she asked to be on the show, if Fox News had asked her, because she, Elizabeth, had been a, eh, on occasion, a regular commentator on Fox News, in particular, uh, particularly the show Hannity. So, why couldn't she just finish out her stint on The View? Now, The View is going to be going on vacation soon because of summer and then return in September. It's usually how it works. So I don't know when this is going to happen. Usually transition is towards the end of July, I think, so they allow at least a month off or something like that. But Joy Behar's remaining until then, and then she's leaving. So why is it that Elizabeth Hasselbeck has to leave earlier, and Joy's going to be on, actually, uh, a show of her own on HLN? Now, what is really happening here? That's, you know, because I always wonder these things, these decisions, last minute decisions by uh, our corporate uh, sponsors, corporate sponsors who basically uh, sponsor our uh, regular um, three main channels, ABC, CBS, and NBC. So in this case, it's ABC. So what prompted this decision and why is she leaving this abruptly? Why was the announcement made on the view on the day of her last day? That's that's the thing. See, Joy Behar, let's put it this way. In the history of the view, uh, Star Jones, for example, was going to be leaving the show, but she was allowed to fulfill her contract up until the show ended in the season. And she decided on one day to come in and say, tomorrow is my last day, blah, 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 and that was it. And then Star Jones never came back. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell, same thing, right? She was going to be leaving The View. She told people she was going to leave, and then she didn't return. She didn't fulfill her contract either uh, up until, I guess it was a, a remaining two weeks. Funny how all these things seem to happen, I think, pretty much in the summer on both of these occasions. So, but with Elizabeth, it's still kind of a curious subject because it seemed rather odd. I mean, I read this story on Tuesday night. I, I knew 
that Elizabeth was going to be leaving. I just had that feeling. Particularly a joy leaving, and Elizabeth. Now the view, they, uh, the uh, people running the show, because Barbara Walters is leaving in another year or so, uh, as well. So now they got to fulfill these. Uh, they so they got to find substitutes for these seats that will be uh, unoccupied. I have a feeling Brooke Shields will end up on there, and uh, maybe even Jenny McCarthy. It's, there's a possibility. But anyway, they've been regular co-hosts, by the way, uh, on occasion. But at any rate, the abruptness is really what gets me. I don't understand that. Now, Fox and Friends is a uh, show that starts at 6 a.m. It runs three hours, so it will be on from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. So Elizabeth will, as she mentioned uh, yesterday, will be getting up pretty damn early to be on this show. Now, was this really what she wanted to do? Uh, because keep in mind, too, that I don't watch Fox and Friends, and on occasion I've tuned into the Fox News, and I've observed, particularly Hannity, not so much Bill O'Reilly, uh, that their opinions are, are pretty much anchored by the platform that they represent. In other words, they are Republican talking points. Democrats have them, too. Believe me, and I myself have, have stated uh, on this show and on my other show, Jerry the Movies, that I'm more of an independent. I try to be a realist, which apparently neither party has room for, but that's a whole other topic of discussion. So, but she has represented views that have uh, sometimes conflicted with Fox News. But then again, you know, so does Bill O'Reilly, but Bill O'Reilly has his own show. Elizabeth is not going to have her own show. She's going to be basically a co-host on Fox and Friends. So we'll see how this Republican platform plays out. Now, I do like Elizabeth. I wish her all the best. But somehow I don't think that she should have been ejected from The View. Now, I'm not implying she was fired. I'm not saying that there is something else going on here we don't know about. But there could be. There's a possibility. And the reason I bring that up is because of the following. In March of this year... It was stated March 8th that Elizabeth Hasselbeck might be fired from The View after nine years. And that this announcement came days after Joy Behar, uh, Joy Behar rather announced her departure from the show. So the sources for Us Weekly said that Hasselbeck was being ousted after market research revealed that she isn't popular with TV audiences. That the, the viewers they polled all said she was too extreme and right-wing. Well, there are far more extremist views out there than hers, particularly in the right-wing uh, bar, if you like. <laughs> um, that people did not watch the show because of Elizabeth, and so that she, apparently, Hasselbeck was told that a contract would not be renewed. Now, uh, Interestingly enough, when this announcement was made, it was on a Friday, I believe, and, you know, as you know, the, the View tapes their shows on Fridays. So it wasn't until Monday that Barbara Walters said, Elizabeth is not going anywhere. She's staying with us as long as she wishes. So who knows? I think the truth is somewhere down in the middle. But I do wish the best for Elizabeth. I always enjoyed the tension between her and Joy, but it seemed that lately they've muted that considerably and don't even discuss too many politics uh, or political issues of any kind, so the friction was missing, and you kind of need that, just a little bit of unease. That's what made the show. Oh well. Wish the best to Elizabeth. And this is uh, the Boob Wayside Show with the host, Jerry Saravia, signing off.